everyone, it's Katherine Skaggs, and I am bringing in a Mythical Goddess Tarot reading for April 2022. We've just come into a new moon energy, so it's a great time for beginnings, but it's particularly an April new moon that is beginning in Aries, bringing in fire to restore our heart fire, to restore the fire in our bellies, to restore us to move into new beginnings with the spring and to bring our gifts forward, to return to wholeness. You know, and I'm as I'm talking about this, I'm going to bring in a little extra inspiration today besides the mythical goddess Tarot. I've got a template of some prototype cards here of the Masters of Light Wisdom Oracle. I just finished the last painting and I'm so excited as St. Germain came in to finish 44 cards for this deck that I know it's going to be going to press pretty soon to make it available to you. So we're going to pull a card or two, depending on who wants to come forward, for our reading today. How do we come into our fire? How do we move beyond any of the places where we haven't felt like enough, where winters might have beaten us up? Maybe you've been enjoying time in the inner spaces of the world, of yourself, but as the spring energy came in March, we are really being brought back into the light and a time of a restoration. So I've been working with oh, lots of ascended masters and archangels some goddesses and other divine beings of light and recently got to teach a class with uh, the mythical goddess Tro. So I'm really excited to bring in guidance with the goddesses, and whomever wants to come forward with the Masters of Light Wisdom Oracle and see what blessings and energy shifts we can come. It's time to get beyond our brain and our intellect and the information part. It's time to grab the frequencies. So I want you to know that this reading is an activation. Yeah, how cool is that? Are you ready to initiate into an expanded version of yourself through fire and through illumination? So I'm being guided today to do three to five cards. We'll see if that's what happens. So the first card that wants to come forward as I shuffle and I connect, I come from the middle of the deck. Ah, this card's about who are we? Who are we as we come out of this energy of winter into spring, into new beginnings and fire. It's going to give us an idea of what's up for us right now. What do we need to heal? What do we need to address? So we can come into our wholeness and come into new life and have hope once again. So I want you to know that this is about resetting your energy to become illuminated within your very being and that the rest of the world will shift up as you shift up within yourself. So let's talk about the first card and what, and I will pull a Master's Light Wisdom Oracle card at the end and I'll know where it's supposed to be at that time. But right now, what's really important for us to take a look at, oh my goodness, it's a water card. It's the Seven of Seas. It's denial. This gal is in a trance. She's caught in stagnant water, stagnant emotions. So what it tells me is that being the first card as we open up the energy to look at April is that for us to come into our fire once again, we have to address any and all stagnant or stuck emotions. If we want to be fiery beings, we need to let our waters of life flow. We need to flow from our hearts. We need to flow our emotional body. And so it's time for addressing and taking a look at this to come out of any trances, any trauma states, any places where you've been frozen or shut down so that you can come back to life. You need to come from out of any difficult situations so it may mean some water cleansing. It may mean a fire ceremony. Right now, we need to acknowledge that there's been some places where we have denied our true nature and our joy, our light, so that we can really step into this Aries energy to begin anew. So just take note of that right now. 
you may want to sense into that, feel into that. Where can't you feel? Where have you been stuck? Take a note of where that is in your body. It's not a mental thing. It's in your emotional body. And for you to move forward, for us to move forward, to be more illuminated, we need to love that part of ourself that's been afraid or frozen or stuck in the past because that's what's limiting us from taking our next step. And it's right up front to address so that we can get into the light. I think that's good information that we can work with to honor our emotions so they can begin to flow once again. We can be safe to be ourselves. All right, what's the big picture of the next month and how that relates to our personal growth, our soul growth, and how all this relates to the world around us? And the card that appears is very interesting. It's a Virgo card. It's spring itself. It's this beautiful maiden energy. It's all about beauty, and it's about the earth. So one of the things that this card tells me is that we're moving into a cycle that is like adolescence. It's it's the time of not just spring and new beginnings, but it's actually a little bit more, more, more mature than that. It's about that energy of the plants coming above the earth, the flowers coming. And this is symbolic to our soul growth. We're ready to come into an expanded version of ourselves where we can be in the world and not of it, where we can love the earth, appreciate the elements of the earth, see the beauty in this world, be the beauty in this world. So we can expand into a new earth and a new way of being. Humanity is at a huge place of growth. And for us to move beyond the chaos within ourselves and the world around us, we need to come home to beauty. So your initiation and your step into the light is one to acknowledge the beauty within, in your own body and in your earth elements in the world around you, and that you're bringing your spirit into an expanded version within this world. And that it's time, it's time for us individually, and it's time for us to be the medicine that we bring beauty back to our lives, and that expands through the whole. We need beauty. So, you know, if you've been watching the news, worried about the Ukraine, worried about money, the economy, worried about your family, it tells me you need to go out in nature and you need to come into the present moment. You need to ground yourself and give it over to spirit, give it over to the divine, to be present to love and beauty, and the rest will shift out. All right, the next card has to do with what is our lesson or opportunity that's at hand right now through this next month, through coming into the light, through coming into a new expanded version of ourselves. And we have the fire card centering. She's the two of fire. She has to do with us moving our consciousness and our awareness into the light. She's focusing clearly on the light, completely centered in the light, and in that magic happens. So this is what we need to return to within ourselves is, you know, it's considered the place of challenges, obstacles, opportunities, and lessons. So let's take it to the higher octave and know that this, this is Aries energy. You'll notice here, Mars and Aries, lots of fire. That fire starter energy, if we want to take advantage of this Aries new moon and the cycle of April, we need to step fully centered into the fire so we know what we're creating through our focus. Whatever you focus on expands. And when working with the element of fire, we really need to pay attention because that can be expansive fire starter burning out of control, or when it's sustained through focus, it's illuminating, it's expansion. And it's a way that brings in healing through that burning fire light that's alchemy. So return to focus in the light in your life and see how that supports you in this next stage of expansion within yourself. All right. Uh, I just love all the fire cards coming through. The next card is action. And it's one of my favorite paintings that was adapted for the revolution card, another Aries energy, perfect for this energy we're coming into. She's originally called the wild woman of my soul. How perfect is that? 
She's naked, which is kind of like, oh, what's she doing? No clothes on. Well, she's purely honest. And she sits in the position of action. What do you need to do with this energy? Well, she's reflective and present. And she's naked, which is a symbol of pure honesty. And she's revolutionary. She's herself. She's purely herself. There are no apologies. She's completely honoring herself, fiery, and ready for new life, revolutionary, purely of her own unique expression. And from that, all life is born. She's kundalini medicine. She's the sacred fire at the base of your spine. So doing kundalini exercises, meditations, trance dance, shamanic journey spaces, know who you are and be true to yourself that higher self, that truth that is your divinity. Moving beyond the ego, burning away all the falsehoods, all the pretentiousness, all the ways you think you need to act to fit in. Now, it's time to burn that away and move beyond that to be unapologetically, amazingly you, the fire of spirit in your heart, in your body, in all your life. So see what it takes for you to engage that and to bring that forth this month. That's going to be the blessing that changes everything in your life. Well, that sounds pretty good. What, what's our outcome going to look like if we will follow this guidance and see? Oh, it's interesting. We got a mental card and it's a negative mental card. So it's like, oh, no, when we when we clear and do all this cool stuff, why do I see a mental negative card in the outcome? Well, the way I've learned to read the cards is that when a negative card shows up, it beholds the energy of its healing as well as its, its challenge, and it's a warning card. So this is a warning of, you know, really you needing to step into your fire to clear the fear. For this card to be in the outcome, it tells me the opportunity that comes when you face the denial emotionally, where you go into the beauty of life, and know that's really the bigger picture here, and you step into the fire, is what, what's really up for clearing right now is this mental fear. The world is full of it. Listening to the news Worrying about a crash, worrying about COVID still, worrying about war, worrying about our children, it's, it becomes all-consuming. And if you don't heed the path of light within yourself, and you keep all your attention on the world outside the linear mundane reality that's separate from hope, from peace, from love, from source, from the divine then you're going to find yourself lost in your mind and in all the opinions and all the fears of the world that separate us, that keep us from being able to co-create, that keep us from one another. And if you notice, at the very bottom of that card, there's a heart buried under the earth. It's interesting. This is an Aquarian card. And this is like a lower denomination of the mind where the heart is buried. So as you step into the fire this month, what you really are wanting for the greatest outcome is to free your heart, to bring that fire into your heart space, to bring that fire into your belly, to free the heart and to clear the mind so it can be the highest vessel of light expressing through the mind, using the mind as a vehicle for expression. I hope this makes sense. I found that, you know, this warning card there says to me, if you don't step into the fire this month, that you're going to be constricted my mental attitudes. The other thing is as you step into the fire, it's going to illuminate any of those places where you're stuck mentally as well as emotionally. And it's going to ask you to step into places where you activate yourself, illuminate yourself, so that this no longer has a hold of you. And it's, it's also the warning of 
Be true to yourself. Be true to the light within yourself. It is where the kingdom of heaven is. And from that place of the light within you, all is given. However, if you stay in your mind and constantly looking at where things are going to get you, well, that's where you're going to live. So this is where we really want to bring love and light to clear this energy that we can live in a new reality and that this no longer, you know, the other thing I want to say about that is you bring in more and more light. Others may protest. Your ego may protest. I kind of said this already. I'm going to say it another way. Your ego may protest, uh, meaning your mind, your lower mind, the things you get attached to that limit you. They may protest these aspects of self, and others may reflect that fear to you that wants to dampen you down and keep you in that mental linear reality that keeps you from miracles, that keeps you from joy. And so this is just telling you to pay attention so that reality doesn't hold your feet into fear and trauma. You're ready to let that go. All right, now I've printed up 43 of the 44 cards. Two of them weren't, actually 42. Two of them weren't done yet when I uh, made these samples up for me to start looking at and editing. So I am just shuffling what I have here and asking who wants to come. I know one of the cards that was absolutely present this morning as I began to work was Archangel Raphael. And that we are being held in this beautiful emerald energy of light. Saint Germain is also there bringing in violet light energy to help us, to illuminate us. And let's see, who else wants to come forward today? Ah, this is great. All right, we've got Lord Ganesha, Hindu God, remover of obstacles, the first shaman in the Himalayas. He tells us to focus on the light, that's what our reading said, to clear all limitations, begin anew, your soul knows the way. Well, how perfect is that? Focus on the light. That's what the centering card told us today. That's what the maiden of revolution said today. That's that Aries energy is be in the light. Be in that focus of the light. And know that that in and of itself by focusing will bring you into higher vibrations and activations, frequencies aligned with your divinity. And from that, all limitations will dissipate and no longer be in your reality. The more you focus on worry and fear, the more it's in your reality, the more it brings you down, the more it drags down your energy. So return every day into the light. Return every day into the blessings and the gratitudes. The more you focus on that, the more you're going to find your new beginnings are very clear and born of love. They're born of hope. They're born of possibility, and they bring healing to yourself and all others. Well, it's kind of interesting. I'm getting a, a nudge to pull one more card for us from the Masters of Light. <laughs> so as we remove our obstacles and come into the light, new beginnings, Mother Goddess Hathor from Egypt wants to help us remember that we're really here to come into bliss, pleasure, joy. This is time to read to restore ourselves in that energy. So as we refocus and move into that light, letting go of the things that are limiting, we're actually going to start enjoying ourselves again. So enjoy your food. Enjoy the beauty of the outdoors. Enjoy your family and friends. Enjoy your work and your play. Have good food, good drink, and celebrate. Let's celebrate one another and know that that brings peace and love within and all around. Well, thank you for today. I look forward to more of this. I'm so excited. Have a great day and have a great April.